Good morning, moderator, co-moderator, and audience. I'm Natapon Swarnanen from Burupa University Hospital. Thank you, Tosam, for inviting me to share today. My topic is the physical update in physical examination for massive rotator cuff tear. Guideline today is the first part of the general examination in the rotator cuff tear and related problem. Second is the in massive rotator cuff tear examination. As you know about the physical examination in general orthopedics, we are start from the inspection, palpation, range motion, measurement about the uh, motor power and spatial tear. That's also the same thing in the shoulder exam. For the in shoulder exam, we need to prepare for the across the shoulder. Example the Andreas in men. Looking for the shoulder girdle in the all direction for look atrophy of the muscle. And the sacapula winking and focus and deformity at all previous scar. The palpation we start from the medial part to the lateral start from the SC joint, cavicle SC joint. Coracoid, lesser tuberosity, bicipital groove, gastrocoid tuberosity, for the localized point of tenderness. Uh, maybe we can palpate the mass and the gap of the cup tray if the patient has the thin skin. In the random motion exam, we start from the active random motion first, then the passive random motion about the forward flexion, extension, abduction. External rotation arm at side, internal rotation, uh, able external rotation in the abduction 90 degree, abduction internal rotation, cross body adduction. The measurement. We are test on the motor power of the muscle in the shoulder, on the deltoid, bicep, tricep, wrist power, and the hand power. And another part is the rotator cuff muscle in supraspinatus, infraspinatus, third minor, and subscapularis. In the special test, we are test for the clarify about the pathology. The first is the impingement symptom, especially in near or the Hofkin Kennedy. The rotator cup tendon we have uh, classified for the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, in external state test, able state test, lift off, or belly press, and back hack test. About the low head bicep symptom in the split, yoga sun, or the overweight and on bicep load test. AC joint problem is the uh, Test on the cross arm elevation and overhead arm and passing out test. And at the massive rotator cuff symptom about the drop arm and left side, maybe the talk later. The massive rotator cuff tear. The division of the massive rotator cuff tear was discussed by many authors as the Dr. Nantapon previous lecture. First is the global in uh, 20. Clarify of the number of tendon is if more than two tendon. It co in 1982 was uh, clarified in the total length of terrified in some of medial, lateral, and anterior posterior length more than five centimeters. In the Nomuhara, is the described in percentage of the expose of the humeral hairs. The last step of the definition. By Delphi, they measure the MRI and interoperation. If rejection or torn tendon to the keratin in the coronal and axial plane, and all tear of the tendon which exposes the gastrotoracity more than the 67% in the sagittal plane. The clinical presentation of the massive rotator cuff tear are the pain and the inability to lift up or rotate the arm. With, uh, these are big problems we call the pseudo-paralysis. And 
We need to check history for more information about the onset and the duration of symptoms for the clarify the massive rotator cuff tear into acute traumatic, chronic, progressive, or the acute on top problem. Include the problem encountered during activity of daily living, especially in the reach the arm above the head to comb to shape, apply to make up, or the whole telephone, or the eating with spoon. The study by the Colin in the 2014 to describe pattern of the massive rotator cuff tear related to a lot of the shoulder active brain emotion. He has tried to find tendon, upper and uh, first upper and lower subscap and in anterior. Supraspinatus is the superior, infraspinatus and the teres minor is posterior. And he clarified to five patterns of tear in AUE pattern at the picture. The study showed that the entire B and C has a higher percent in the pseudo paralysis problem. Intervention has were lost external rotation function in both arm at side and the both uh, 90 degree abduction. The CVD is found in the type E and lot of some leaky in type C and D. The loss of active internal rotation motion was found in type A and B, A, B, C. This same paper in 1922 described the physical symptoms for the pseudo paralysis patient. First, you need uh, his schedule inspection for muscle atrophy around shoulder as previous described and check the sensory and motor function of the C5 and axillary motor nerve function. For check about the cervical spine problems as the pressure, localizing pain, range of motion, the nerve roof compression paid for the radiculopathy. The deltoid leg tension at leg side proposed by Hertel in 1998. Uh, Test is useful for the test for the deltoid and axillary nerve function, which could also be affected by a C5 nerve lesion. The test by arm is exchange and elbow are maximally exchanged by the examiner. The patient is asked to hold the position and the lack of the, uh, the degree is recorded for, for degree. The active forward elevation we need to reduce the pain before test by the injection of local anesthesia in the subacromic bed. Then slowly elevate the arm with a full elbow extension. In this paper, divide the degree of the active forward elevation and associate the anterior superior humeral bed by first active forward elevation pseudoparesis. The mass that's the massive cup tear can achieve forward flexion duration less than 90 degree with the full passive brain motion, but no antero superior escape. But and the active forward elevation pseudo paralysis. He cannot lift up your arm with zero degree of the elevation, but he can fold the passive brain motion usually with uh, filed with the anterior superior escape. This uh, 81 years old woman has a limit active brain motion of the shoulder. His exam show the weakness on both the deltoid and the rotator cuff muscle that we need to the clear heat uh, have the problem when double lesion. The active external rotation and active external rotation that's I described her tail in 1996. Uh, active and passive acceleration are the exam in which the arm by the side in the 20 of abduction. The elbow, elbow is supported by the, before the positioning arm in maximal rotation, passive external rotation. The vision are to maintain this position before the release. Where the examiner was uh, it is uh, external rotation lack what is the record. This is the most 
accuracy test for the tourist miter, the function if lag more than the 40 degree is found. The test is to be interpreted with the care if a scapular tendon was tear. It may be increased external rotation and no firm endpoint is suspect. Clarify in the pseudo parasite is an active external rotation to neutral or the external rotation lag side to neutral. If you have the pseudo parasite, no active external rotation and external rotation lag to the minus 40 degree. The second test is a modification of the Hornbrough test. It's kind of wall. The arm is brought into the passive flexion in the 90 degree and passive acceleration with the arm reached to vertical position. The elbow, elbow remains to the support. And the patient is asked to maintain the vertical position in the forearm. And the contraction of the thoracic minor can be inspected and palpated at the posterior lateral border of the scapula. Lacking into internal rotation of the vertical forearm position is the record. The left view shows the patient have the weakness of the external rotation while the arm is side. She cannot maintain forearm in neutral position. In the right video shows she cannot maintain forearm in vertical position too. Belly pass test has been studied and modified to access the active internal rotation and so there were four patients who can able to move the arm adequately in the back for the lift up test and lift up back side. The flexion of wrist can be measured with a goniometer for getting the modified belly press by uh, Shibel in the 2016 boss place hand flat on the abdomen the elbow close the body and bring the elbow forward and extend uh, and the exchange of wrist. Measure the angle of the restriction for getting. In the pseudo paralysis, restriction about the 30 to the 60 degree to the keep hand contact abdomen. If they have the pseudo paralysis, restriction of the 90 degree to keep hand contact in the abdomen. If you do all show the lift of chest for evaluate internal rotation function, he was negative for the lift of chest and the no lift of black side. This table is summarized about the physical examination test for the rotator cup chair. Take home message. Third, address the problem of massive rotator cup chair patient, or pain, or the, or the functional loss. And the physical examination is important to initial classified type of massive rotator cup tear. Accurate physical mention helps to focus the lesion on the MRI investigation and help for discussion about the prognosis after the treatment or surgery. 